amazing day. So today we are painting and yeah, I said we because it will be something small and simple and easy to paint. So yeah, consider this kind of a tutorial. I mean for sure I'm not Bob Ross, but yeah, enjoy and if you want you can paint along with me. One more thing, I will be giving you away whatever I paint, so stay till the end of the video to see how you can possibly win it. Okay, so I just want to start off with that this video will be a bit different and I will explain the process of making this artwork a bit more than usual and that's why I call it a tutorial but I'm not saying that this is the right way of doing it, it is just the way that I prefer and in fact this is art, there is no right or wrong way, just make it the way you feel it and the way you enjoy it. So first thing first I did the sky which was just roughly applying one color with my biggest brush and that was all, I was not gonna do anything more about it. Then I painted the first layer of the wave starting from the light blue at the top and slowly turning into more greenish and dark blue at the bottom. When you're forming the wave use brush strokes that are following the curve and the movement of the water. For example at the lower part it is kind of a horizontal and as it rises it curves more and more and in some parts where the wave have already crushed it is making almost circle and keep in mind that we are making the first layer and just be brave with the brush, make big round spots and just really roughly blur them together. Here I would encourage you to just experiment with the colors, make it more brownish, green. At the thinner part of the waves often it gets yellow as more light is coming through. There are some spots of spreaded form left behind the previously crushed waves that you could make brighter for example. There is a variety of colors out there so yeah, just use it. So when you have laid down the main colors, you can start working through the details. I started from the top part of the wave with considerably small brush and using really short and asymmetrical movements. In some parts the wave is going higher, in other it is already falling. You can also add some splashes detached from the wave itself. But of course if this is what you're going for, because it also can be really smooth and not so sharp and serrated at all. And probably such a massive wave is moving really fast. And as the crest is not so dense, it is really easy for the created wind from the speed to move the splashes in the opposite direction. So in order to make that effect with clear brush, take some of the paint that is already on the canvas and spread it backwards with that kind of a movement. When I was ready with the crest, I started working on the foam left behind the previous waves but I wanted that part of the wave to be more in yellow so I repainted the base color but now the paint was fully fresh and it was just a bit harsh to make all these little fringes so yeah, when you're applying the first layer it will be good if you ensure getting all the colors you want but of course this is oil so you can always correct anything you want so all these lines are just foam from the waves that have crushed previously and usually if the waves are bigger so and the foam is more and if they are smaller the foam is less and there are also these much smaller waves between that are actually spreading the foam and turning it into this kind of a curved lines and spots instead of just piling at one place and the way you can actually paint it is just just play with the brush and make some kind of a wavy strokes and lines and try to turn these blue spots between into pieces of a puzzle or a mosaic mosaic mo mosaic mos I don't know how that's pronounced so when the foam is in the higher part of the waves where the light is coming through it will be more 
darker and as a silhouette and as it's getting warm it will be brighter kind of a, exactly the opposite of how we made the water in the first layer but again it all depends on where the light is coming from and where is the position of the sun or the moon if you're painting a night scape Ooh, that's that's cool idea now I'm thinking of maybe painting some kind of a ginormous stormy waves on a moon night yeah, probably we'll try to paint it and see what will happen and maybe we'll make it again into kind of a tutorial thing or maybe not if you don't like this one. Actually, comment, should I make another one and did you learn anything at all from this one? And another way to make the foam is by using a palette knife just take some paint with it and apply it in the direction of the curve of the wave and if you have grabbed enough paint you can make really gentle moves and not pressurize it too much and this technique is definitely faster and more efficient but most of the times I prefer doing it with a brush because I just like it better so in my case let's say the weather is sunny and if so there definitely will be some parts that are in shadow and some that are highlighted by the sun and the same way as I did the crest the lighted ones will be in pure white so you see how over these bright blue fringes I'm applying some white on top and that allows to form a really clear cut between the shadow part and the one exposed to sunlight here again I'm using the same pattern of moves but just not as thick as before Usually deep inside of the wave there are not many details as the water have turned more into a steam after crushing and that's why it is kind of a blurred warm light but there are still some details on the water that is just about to crush and this is just foam but as I said before because there is a lot of light coming through right there make it more darker and as a silhouette and if you want you can also capture the moment when the crest is just crashing into the water under by simply boring the spot right there so I continued painting all these chaotic lines but at some point I decided that I wanted to make part of the water more in dark blue and then again in the very front of the painting I had one big spot of these fringes of foam to get even better contrast between all the colors and by the way did you notice how the strokes of the brush change from almost vertical to more horizontal and flat at the bottom and that way you could easily recreate the movement of the wave and how it is rising and after I was ready with the painting I just took a step back to see where I can adjust some small things and yeah I spent another hour doing it but overall this painting did not take me as long as usually and mainly because I made it for a workshop that I was gonna be part of and I had to keep it short because I had to show there how I did it and frankly that made me decide to turn this video into kind of a tutorial but again I'm not saying that this is the right way of doing it it is just the way I did it and I strongly encourage you to experiment a lot and to paint the way you enjoy and the way you want because in the end this is art and art is a conception of the artist probably this video is gonna be longer than usual and probably I talked a lot so I'm sorry if it was too much for you but it means a lot that you're watching it and I'm so 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 grateful and also tremendous thank you to the people who are supporting me on patreon you're amazing and if you want to support me there too and get some more photos or videos and cool rewards you're more than welcome to check the link in the description below. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and now 
So two weeks ago, I think this channel passed 1,000 subscribers, and it is not that big of a deal. But for me, it means a lot that you're taking from your time to watch these videos. I really appreciate it, and I wanted to give something back to you. So yeah, I'm giving away this painting and how you can win it, well, really simple. First of all, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below, just, just comment anything because I will be choosing the winner from the comments. And yeah, good luck to everybody, I will pick the winner in about two weeks, so Stay tuned! One more time, thank you so much for watching, it really means a lot to me and if you want to support me in any other way, you can check out my Patreon page, it is linked down below and I will see you in the next video! Don't worry, don't worry, it's perfectly fine.